Bruce Lee is a video game designed by Ron J. Fortier, with graphics by Kelly Day and music by John A. Fitzpatrick. It was originally developed for the Atari 8-bit family and published in 1984 by Datasoft, along with a port for the Commodore 64. The game was converted to the ZX Spectrum and Amstrad CPC and published by U.S. Gold in the same year. An MSX version was published in 1985 by Comptic. Bruce Lee is a platform game hybrid, in which the player controls Bruce Lee, a second player controls either Yamo, or alternates with player one for control of Bruce Lee. Gameplay The plot involves the eponymous martial artist advancing from chamber to chamber in a wizard's tower, seeking to claim infinite wealth and the secret of immortality. There are 20 chambers, each represented by a single screen with platforms and ladders. To progress, the player must collect a number of lanterns suspended from various points in the chamber. Most chambers are guarded by two mobile enemies, the ninja, who attacks with a Bakken stick, and the green Yamo, a large unarmed warrior, visually styled as a sumo wrestler but attacking with punches and crushing kicks. On platforms with sufficient graphic support, Yamo's skin is actually pictured as green, though in cover art he has a natural human skin tone. A multiplayer mode allows a second player to control Yamo, or to allow two players to alternately control Bruce. If the player playing Yamo is inactive for a certain time, the computer takes over. The ninja and Yamo are also vulnerable to the screen's dangers, but have infinite lives so they always return, whereas Yamo is consistently identified as a single person. One version of the manual implies that each reappearance of the ninja is a new individual, replacing the previous one. Later chambers include more hazards such as mines and moving walls, as well as a comb like surface that has an electric spark racing along it. Skillful walking, climbing, ducking and jumping are required to negotiate them. On the 20th screen, Lee finally faces the evil fire wizard. Topic. Reception On its original release, the ZX Spectrum version of Bruce Lee received enthusiastic reviews. Computer Gaming World stated that the game delivers all the foot-kicking, kick-jabbing, quick-ducking action-packed adventure you'd expect from a good grade B, martial arts movie." Crash Magazine awarded 91%, highlighting zesty graphics, enjoyable fighting action and addictivity. Sinclair User also found the game enjoyable, awarding 4 out of 5 stars, but felt that sound was underused and a larger variety of tasks could have been included. Your Spectrum were more critical, pointing out that it only takes a few games to complete all 20 chambers. In a 1990 retrospective, Your Sinclair found that Bruce Lee was still too easy to complete and the graphics had not aged well. In addition, it was felt that the fighting moves available to the player lacked impact and were too limited for a beat-em-up. However, it was described as a historically important game, being the first to combine the platform, collection and beat-em-up genres. Home Computing Weekly praised the graphics and movement. The game was included on the 1986 compilation They Sold a Million Two, along with Match Point, Match Day, and Night Lore. On September 9, 2018, a speedrun game completion time of 5 meters 42s was recorded on the ZX Spectrum via a YouTube live stream using the original 128K Toast Track. This has been accepted by Speedrun.com, where some of the fastest completion runs on games are located. The speedrun is also available to see on YouTube. Topic: <laughs> External links. Bruce Lee ZX Spectrum World Speedrun Record, https colon slash slash www.youtube.com, watch, v equals ACMWRCLWZY8 Video capture of Bruce Lee Article in the C64 Wiki